Ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls and children of all ages, I am Pixel and this is Dirty Talk. In this episode, I want to talk to you guys about a particular merc that's been getting a fair amount of attention recently when it comes to his place in Dirty Bomb, and that merc is Rhino. When I first started planning out this video and trying to put all my thoughts down on paper, I was really approaching everything from the point of view of him just being overpowered, however that never really sat all that well with me, I mean sure. He is strong and he can certainly feel maybe a little bit too strong from time to time, but so can many other mercs. I even started to consider the possibility that maybe he is just overpowered in certain situations. Again, true, but again, also true for other mercs. So instead of trying to come up with a definitive yes or no black and white answer to whether he could be considered overpowered or not, I started looking a little deeper into what triggered me to want to make this video in the first place. And to cut a long story short, yeah, he's overpowered. Well, sort of. I mean, he most certainly can be overpowered. The problem is, he just never feels like he is reliably overpowered. Sure, you can make him more reliable by playing him well, but not really to the point where I would feel confident. His minigun most definitely feels like some crazy RNG cannon that in one tap will land 10 rounds in a row from 50 feet away, and the very next tap he will miss all 10 rounds. Obviously this is mostly down to the huge spread that the weapon has and it does make complete sense, because if every bullet went exactly where the crosshair was placed, it would be hands down the best weapon in the game and completely overpowered. The issue here is that I can see ways of reducing the RNG nature at least a little bit. Like removing the spread balloon for instance, and instead having it be a set spread amount, around half of what the max spread is now, this would certainly nerf the weapon at very long ranges, but it would really kind of buff it at mid and close range, and we all already know how much of a beast this weapon can be up close, so would we really want to make it any stronger? I don't think so. I know, what about if we just make it do much less damage at range? Good idea on paper, right? But in game with hit beeps and the hit markers, this would seem really silly and very inconsistent. What I'm getting at here is that I don't believe that this is going to be a simple case of changing a few numbers in the back end and things just working out. Let me be clear here, something needs to be done because in my opinion, Rhino's problems are caused by his overall design. If we look at the heavy from Team Fortress 2, we can see that there are many little differences that actually cut down on the RNG factor at the same time as making him fairly well balanced. I mean, sure, I bet you can find lots of people out there that will say that the heavy is either overpowered or underpowered as well, but from a gameplay perspective, he certainly is far more consistent. For example, the heavy from TF2 has a fairly consistent spread. He does not do headshot damage, he has limited ammo and has limited movement compared to the other characters in that game, and he has counters. In contrast, Dirty Bomb's Rhino is much more luck driven than his TF2 counterpart, at the same time as having much less downsides. I feel that Rhino should either have to reload or pick up ammo to prevent this overly dominant lockdown potential in certain areas. I mean sure he does have the ability to cool down, but it's nowhere near the point where it would ever really cause him problems. In fact, if the cooldown ever does get in the way of you shooting, then it's pretty safe to say that you're playing him wrong. I really believe that headshots should be removed as well. I mean, sure in public the TF2 Heavy does have crits, but in Dirty Bomb the headshots seem to have so much more impact and on a much more regular basis, and because of the huge spread it's not like it's entirely skill based in the first place. Finally, I want to see the spread be much lower than it is right now at full spread, and I want to see it be much higher than it is right now at minimum. The reliance that we have on tap fire, while skill based in a way, is far too strong unreliable and inconsistent. I know strong, unreliable and inconsistent may seem like strange words to group together in a sentence, but it's true when you think about it. In my eyes, Rhino should be much more viable at longer ranges than he is right now, but that's not the same as saying that he should be much stronger though. Basically, he needs to be more consistent. Seriously, if he was, he would be played more even if overall he ends up being a little bit weaker than he is today. Now before I end this video, I do want to mention something that often slips our minds when we are talking about whether something is balanced or not, and that is player perception and fun. Regardless of whatever the stats are saying, a player's perspective on a given feature or mechanic is still very important. Something does not need to be super strong in order to be super fun, and it is also inexcusable to have things be super frustrating for a whole team to play against and even play with 
just so that one person can have fun and of course this works in vice versa as well. In my opinion, Dirty Bomb is guilty of breaking this rule constantly and it's simply not good enough. Anyway, I think that's enough from me today. Thanks for watching guys and remember to like the video if you liked it and also to slap that subscribe button for some more PC gaming goodness while you're at it. Once again, I have been Pixel, you guys have been awesome and until next time, bye bye.